Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video we are going to be getting down into the carb alternatives. These are not just any old carb alternatives, they are the ones that you can get hold of in the UK. They're probably going to be either from your local supermarket or they might be from somewhere online, Amazon or maybe directly. I will leave all the links in the description. But yeah, so these are just the carb alternatives that I've personally found and the ones that I would actually eat and do eat. Personally, I only really consume maybe one of these per week. I wouldn't have all of them combined. Um, it's up to you. What do you want to do? I personally would rather eat a bit more cleaner and these are just a great backup and they're just great to, you know, have as a as, a, as an alternative to have something there. So in this video, I am going to have replacements for bread, wraps, pasta, noodles, rice, crisps, and even a pizza base. Keep watching and I will reveal all. It's really good to know that you can get some of these in your local supermarket. And you know, the UK isn't as far behind as you may think. It's just about searching for it. And I originally, I wasn't going to make this video because I thought, well, everybody knows what these are. Everybody's come across these, but then actually I'll speak to somebody and they, and they didn't know. So I just thought this would be helpful and yeah, to let you all know that there are some really good alternatives out there. So first things first is bread. You're going to be really, really happy when I let you know that this bread I actually bought from Waitrose. And again, this isn't really something that I would buy, but if I ever did buy it, I probably haven't bought this in about a year, but when I did buy it, I would just store it in the freezer and then maybe at the weekend or something like that. So, it's called Live Life. As you can see, because we bought it, we've been eating it. We had that over the weekend. The slices are pretty small. So, as you can see, they are pretty tiny, but it's the closest that you're gonna get to bread. It really does, you know, it's got the texture of bread. It's not like almond flour or anything like that. The ingredients aren't great. The, this is Again, this isn't something that I would always eat. The ingredients are, it's got a lot of wheat in it. It's got all sorts of wheat in it. I think the thing that makes it so low carb is the fact that it is made of soya flour, which personally I don't really want to consume soya. But yeah, it's got quite a few ingredients. It's not the cleanest of items, but I'm sure you want to know the carb count. So per slice, it is 3.4 grams of carbs. Probably one of the best low carb breads you're going to get. If you can fit that into your carb count, then it's a great little, great little slice of bread. It toasts pretty decent, but just be careful because it definitely burns quite quickly. I don't know if you can see. So that's the bread. Can be found in Waitrose, probably somewhere else, but that's where I found it. That's the packaging. Next up is pasta. I've got a few options here. I'm going to be brutally honest in this video, so I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. This is not the greatest texture. It's not the greatest of anything. When you want a dish that's got like loads of sauce, it's just missing something. It's missing the pasta. Then I actually use these, Slim Pasta. Bought these off Amazon. I've actually got an absolute backlog of stock of these. So I believe what the main ingredient of this is like cognac flour, I think that's how you say it. It's quite slimy, but I've had this as like in a tuna pasta or a tuna bake. It, it works pretty well. It, it really, it isn't too bad. For carbs, it is zero grams of carbs. It's zero carb. It's definitely an option out there. Other than that, I do use courgette. I personally peel courgette, so courgette, and that seems to work really well as well, but obviously it's a little bit more carbs, but it's also better for you. And then the next item, use it for noodles. And I use it for pasta, spaghetti. These, bare naked noodles. So I find these in my Tesco's. Hopefully you might. They do also sell a rice. I don't recommend the rice. It's too slimy to be rice. This can work really well as noodles. If you saw my last video on the Thai food that I did, these are what I use. 
They are, again, I think it's the same sort of, it's coming from cognac, cognac flour, I think that's how you say it. They are a bit slimy, but once they've got like spices and herbs on them and, and seasoning and sauce maybe, then they definitely do the trick. I would actually use this as the spaghetti. And the carbs on this is per portion 1.1 grams of carbs. So again, a really, really low carb option there. The next item is also another double. So I have used this for a wrap and I've also used it as a pizza. And I can say it's probably the best pizza base I've used because it's really low calorie, it's really low carb. And I've tried things like fathead dough and personally, so heavy, quite carby. It's very heavy and it's very cheesy. And then you put cheese on top of it and it's just too much. And it's about a million calories. I actually use low dough. These are very strange. <laughs> they are like a bit of polystyrene, but when it's covered in cheese, like you can see here and sauce, and you get to eat two of them because it's that low carb, it's that low calorie, that actually I could get away with eating two. I'm pretty happy with that. These as wraps are, they'll do the job basically. The texture is again a bit like airy. It doesn't have a lot of substance, but sometimes you just want something in a wrap. And again, you can use lettuce if you want to, but I actually quite like this when we had it before in our video. Um, with chicken and halloumi. This you do have to buy, I believe, directly from them or on some sort of low carb website. So per base, they call it, per wrap, they are 2.2 grams of carb. You can definitely fit that in if you wanted to. And again, I had this as a pizza and I would really, I would recommend it as a pizza base. Again, it's made with some sort of wheat. Keto generally is meant to be a low inflammatory diet. That's kind of part of the reason that you lose the weight, also part of the reason it's a good, good healthy diet. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's, it, the ingredients are quite simple. That's my pizza slash wrap. And then I have actually got a new wrap that I bought and I haven't tried it yet, but I am gonna, I'm gonna try it on camera for you. I'm gonna use it tonight and I'm gonna make some chicken fajita wraps. That's what I feel, feel like making. First impression, they look like the real deal. <laughs> I don't know, I will get it out of the packet. Even just looking at it there and feeling how pliable it is, soft and thick, these look good. So I will actually just try a little piece just to get the texture, but before I try it, I'm just gonna let you know that they are four grams of carbs. It's a bit more carby, but if every now and again, I think I could fit these into my macros and I'd be quite happy to, if the taste is good. So let's find out. The ingredients, there's not too many ingredients. There are a few ingredients and then that I don't really know what they are, which is never a good thing. Yeah, there's wheat in there again. So just to give you a little heads up. The other good thing about these is that they are actually 22 grams of protein per 100 gram, which is great. I aim for protein. I don't personally search for my protein in places other than where they should be. So like meat, dairy, eggs, but it's good to know. Okay, well, it looks good. That looks like a real tortilla wrap even got the I don't know what you would call that it smells like an actual tortilla wrap again I wouldn't eat this every day if I was gonna have that in a week I wouldn't then have any of these other items because I just think it might stall your weight loss it probably isn't the best thing for you okay I'm gonna try some it tastes exactly like a normal flour tortilla. To the point I'm actually not sure if these are low carb. That doesn't taste, that doesn't taste like it is low carb. But they've done it well, if they've done it. You know when something tastes too good to be true? It's really good. Obviously something in it would be amazing, but that, that texture and that taste is exactly what I keep getting a little craving for. I keep thinking I want fajitas, but with that nice, 
plain white flower taste to it and that has that hopefully you know what i'm on about but that wrap is amazing whatever i make tonight with these wraps i will insert the footage here But I mean, that's the taste test. If it tastes good on its own, it's gonna taste amazing with stuff in it. Just in comparison, I think I should show you the low dough one. For comparison, the low carb wrap, you get eight in a pack. These, you get two in a pack. Come with this little sheet and it looks better on camera. It looks more like that other wrap, but it's not. There's something about the texture that it very fluffy where it's just I don't know how to describe it it's just like polystyrene really <laughs> the next thing is something that I would eat multiple times a week so I take back what I said it's just vegetables the reason I wanted to show you this it's cauliflower rice but it's pre grated and it's frozen. I buy it in bags from Tesco. Iceland also do it. Can't really go wrong. I have it with things like curry, I have it with my taco bowl. I have, obviously it's a rice replacement. So yeah, it's great. And if you haven't tried the frozen one, please just save yourself the time and go and get it because you're not doing yourself any, any harm getting this. So I don't physically have it here with me, but I wanted to also mention for things like potatoes, Swede, or in America you call it rutabaga, I believe that's how you say it. Swede is a great alternative for chips, roast potatoes. And recently I actually tried celeriac as chips or french fries. Um, and they were actually really good. I think they were better than Swede because Swede has that tang to it. Whereas celeriac tasted more like celery. <laughs> If I can compare it to something, but it was a lot more bland, a lot more, you know, as potatoes should be, a lot more simple in taste. With a lot of seasoning, they tasted really good. The carbs on those are around the three to four gram mark per 100 gram. So you can definitely get away with a few of those on the side. And as I said, I don't have it here, but if I can, I will insert a picture or a video of any of the times that I've made a recipe with those included. <laughs> Last of all is something that is really not a very healthy item, um, but sometimes you really do want that crunch. And if you've seen my other snack video, you will see that I would and do sometimes eat Mr. Light's porky um, pork scratchings, but they're they're not they're, they're not like the standard pork scratchings that I don't personally like. Sometimes they're chewy, sometimes they're they're just a bit strange. Whereas these are more like, I would say, they're baked and they're more like fluffy. Anyway, they're great. I would say they're a lot healthier, believe it or not, than these crisps. But if you want something crunchy that's more like a crisp, I'm really happy I discovered these. So I bought quite a few of these and they're just gonna sit in the cupboard and we'll get through them one bag at a time over a long period of time. We got these, which me and my partner actually shared a bag of these because the carbs on these are 5.2 grams per bag. As you can see, they are probably the closest to a tortilla crisp. So again, they're made of soya. I don't know why, why do these people have to use soya? So I don't like eating a lot of soya in my diet. It's high omega-6, it's highly processed. So personally, I really, really limit anything I can. I never really eat anything with soya in it other than probably these products I've mentioned. As a treat, as something crunchy, these are, these are really good. I did buy different, different sorts. So I believe some of them are from a different brand. So everything, like I said, I will link below. We have these and these. So I would say these are more like snacker jacks. But that's not really a bad thing. I never liked Snacker Jacks, but they're the closest thing that you're gonna find to a crisp in the UK. These are cheese and onion and tomato and oregano. I 
think this is a different brand. It's called Shake That Weight. So, sorry, for the carbs, these are 3.7 grams of carbs per bag. And deceivingly, they look like walkers, but they're not like walkers. They are, again, like snack attacks. <laughs> they're only small, you don't get many in a bag, but yeah, I just think sometimes you want something to dip or you just need a bit of crunch. So they are a unhealthy, dirty keto option, but most of my diet is whole food. So if I want to eat a little bit of crisps every now and again, then, I, then they are the options. Um, the tomato and oregano are 4.7 grams per bag and the cheese and onion are 3.6 grams of carbs per bag. But sometimes you just have to weigh up. Is the carbs more important or are the ingredients more important? And if you're just trying to stay under your carb limit, then they might just help you do that. They might help keep you from eating those walkers. Yeah, I just thought I would put this out into the UK and let everybody know that there are some options out there. And I am here to tell you what they're like in all honesty. And if there's something that you can take away from this video is that that carb zone wrap, it, is good. I think that's everything. I don't think there's anything else that I can think of. Um, there are other carby things that I would do alternatives for, but they're more like recipes. They're not personally things that I would buy as a product because they're easy enough to make at home. Um, things like granola or porridge and things like that. So if you want me to do a video on that, then let me know and I'll be happy to make that and let you all know what the options are. So thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe and hit like if you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye.